All right, calculating equilibrium pressures two is our next example. In this case, we actually will have to use the rice setup. So take a couple of seconds to read the problem and then come back when you're ready. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my K expression. So K, we all are in gas phase. So we have concentration Cl2, concentration PCl3, over concentration PCL5. We have a one liter flask that's containing various numbers of moles of different substances. First, initially, and then we also have something that's at equilibrium. Because we have moles in a one liter flask, what it's actually giving us is the molarity, so we have our concentration that we need. I'm gonna set up my rice here my PCL5, PCL3, and CL2. I'm leaving a bit of space between them because I know I have some stuff to write. Then I go back to my initial information. Flask initially contained 0.298 moles of PCL3. And that's in one liter, so that means I have 0.298 molar PCL3 and 8.7 times 10 to the negative third moles per one liter of PCL5. So what I have here is I've got two initial concentrations. It does not say that I have any Cl2, so I can make the assumption at that point that this is zero. It also says after the system reached equilibrium, two times 10 to the negative third moles in one liter. So two times 10 to the negative three molar chlorine was present in the flask. Then what I need to find out is the equilibrium concentrations of all the species, so I need this spot and this spot and the value of K. So what allows me to do this is essentially looking at the stoichiometry. In order for chlorine to be formed, the only place it could come from was from PCL5. When chlorine is formed, PCL3 is also formed in the same ratio. So the change that occurs here from, for Cl2 from zero to two times 10 to the negative three is plus two times 10 to the negative three. If that much chlorine was made, we had to have also made that same amount of PCL3. And if that amount of PCL3 and Cl2 were created, it had to have come from the PCL5. So on the reactant side, now this is decreasing, but in the same amount. So taking away from the reactant, forming the products. To get my equilibrium, um, equilibrium values for concentrations, I'm just going to subtract or add as necessary. So 8.7 times 10 to the minus 3, minus 2 times 10 to the minus 3, I get 6.7 times 10 to the minus 3 molar and that's my concentration for PCL5. Here I add and I end up with 0 0.3 molar concentration of PCL3 and as was given to me in the problem 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar concentration of Cl2. At this point, I use my K expression to plug in the values. Cl2 was two times 10 to the negative three. PCL3 was 0 0.3. PCL5, 6.7 times 10 to the negative three. Then I just use the calculator to solve. And I get 0 0.0896. So at this point, K is less than 1. This is a reactant favored reaction. And that's where we end.